Praise God, praise God, you beautiful people. I'm whispering it because it's like 519 in the morning, so I'm whispering like there's somebody here. But a lot of you still sleeping or just waking up. You see your hair. Your hair look like this this morning, you know. My God, excuse me. Well, I came in this morning to talk to One Lord, One Spirit Outreach Ministry. I just want to tell you out of my mouth why I'm alive. And I could do it Sunday, um, but we'll talk on Sunday in the, in the natural where you can actually touch me. But this is something that you can always keep. The people that are attending our service, I want to tell you that not only I love you as a human being, let's take the pastor. Let's take the pastor off. Um, and it hit my spirit this morning because I know through experience this may help somebody. Excuse me. Esther. Esther. Lay down. Lay down. Um, that Our title sometimes can make us stay away from us really trying to be a friend. Now, this works for me. I don't know how it works for another pastor or whoever's in leadership over people, but what works for me. And here's the thing. When I leave here, if I, if I leave nuggets with me, how did I help anybody? If I leave my testimony with me, how did I help you? All through the Bible, people told their testimonies, what they've been through, what they're going through, what God did for them. And that's the, the same way we have to be on this natural earth. Um, but there's a heaven and a hell, believe me. Uh, you're going somewhere. You're either going to where you were before you came here, but you're going somewhere. And I wouldn't play the odds on not living right. I said living right, I'm not talking about running up in no building, because the church will not make you a good person. Just like a garage won't turn me into a car. So you have to go in there with a relationship with God himself. But I wanted to let you know, I appreciate you as attending One Lord, One Spirit Outreach. You see what's happening, people are coming. People that normally don't do church is, is coming. And that's what I want. Because I'm a little tired of the same people going to church, but I see them not changing their lives. 17 years in a ministry, but you still drink, you still smoke, you still go to clubs. Come on. The pattern of this world, he talks about that we, we should not be doing that as a Christian. Because what you're doing, you're making people hypocrites. If that makes sense. I know I'm all over the place this morning, but I just have to be real. And real sometimes ain't got nothing to do with God. You're just doing what you do. So I'm just flowing out of my heart to my church. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Every one of you that have attended my church are, or have made a, a pattern to come. And you guys are coming. That means that you, you're you seeking God, not me. Not me in this crazy looking tie. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about I am you guys' friend. First, I'm your friend. We are men and women. We're friends. That's what I want to get across this morning. That we are friends. Friends know my business. And God hit me in the face with it this morning. Like, let them know. I don't think I'm going nowhere. Praise God. Hope the Lord. Lord, I'm not ready. I still got work here to do. You have to pray over your body. Speak over your life. If you're not ready, tell God you're not ready. Uh, I think it was Hezekiah that did it. And God granted him 15 more years. Will he do it? Yes, he will. But back to you guys. I want to thank you so much for what I'm looking for now. I can always be critiqued. I'm not that big to say that I can't be critiqued. Esther, lay down.
stop. Uh, but I can be critique. But I'm looking for leaders. I'm looking for disciples. That when I'm not there, the church is still running. Because you guys are leaders. If that makes sense. But I just want to get that off my chest this morning and come to you guys real. I appreciate you so much for what you're doing. Uh, you guys continue to be blessed on this Attitude Monday. But let me read the scripture, John 15 and 50. It said, I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know the master's business. Instead, I have called you friends. Thank you so much, friend. For everything that I have learned from my Father, I have made known to you. That was from Jesus Christ telling his disciples that you are my friend. I can pastor my friends, but I also can be a better friend, if that makes sense. I love you all. God bless.